Hey guys, I made a glam wall art. I made this art so that it can go with the vase that I had made some time ago. And I'm referring to the vase by the left. The vase by the left inspired me to create this glam wall art. And I really love the way it turned out. The wall art is large and can also be placed on the table. Let's go ahead and get started with the project. I got this mirror from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using three of them. When I was trying to remove the mirror, I got so worried that I was going to break it. But then the trick here is to just carefully push it out because the mirror is so thin and it can break because that happened to me. So the trick is just to hold it carefully and push it out till you see the glue coming out of the mirror around the edges and then you carefully remove it. Now for the design, I'm going to be using a foam board that I divided into three equal parts. Then cut them out and started tracing the mirror in the middle of all three boards. I'm going to quickly draw a rough sketch of what I have in mind before I start drawing it on the board. The circles in the middle are for the mirrors. And now I'm going to start drawing out the pattern on the first board. Now moving on to the second board and it's going to start with the line being drawn in the middle. And I did that halfway. I've just completed the pattern for the second board. Now I took the first board and then took the third board, placed it together so that I can have the lines looking similar to that of the first board. So this is how the lines on both boards look like when they're together. Now that I have the pattern for all three boards, the next thing will be to take my mirror mosaic tiles and cutting them into singular strips and using it on all of the lines that I have on the design. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Like I said earlier, this is similar to the pattern that I made using on the vase and the link is going to be in the description box below. I'm adding more strips at the top to overlap with the other ones at the bottom to make sure that it covers all the open spaces. And now I'm going to be using gems that I got from Walmart to decorate in between each and every one of the lines. I used smaller gems to finish off the top. I used the gems that are a little bit smaller than the bigger ones and then really tiny ones. I left out the outer spaces to use something else there and a mirror is going to come here. I repeated the same thing on the remaining two boards. These are card holders and I will use them to decorate the open spaces. I have used this metal clips card holders to decorate a wall mirror and the link is going to be at the top right and also in the description box below. I later on used gems in all the middle part of all the card holders. This is what all three designs look like. And then I turned them to the back and because I didn't want to separate them, I cut out two long strips from a foam board and then glued them at the top and at the bottom and then use craft sticks to hold them at the open spaces. I also glued hooks at the top, two hooks at the top and two hooks at the bottom to give me two different options in hanging the wall art. I then turned it over and glued on the three mirrors in the middle. These parts here look kind of rough so I will be covering them up with large gems that I got from Michael's craft store.
this is what it looks like when it's mounted on the wall and then i put the face besides it they look so cute together i really love how the wall art and the vase besides it complement each other the link for the vase is going to be at the top right and also in the description box below the wall art can also be placed on the table I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.